Hello and welcome to the Dietrich Gamecast. My name is Jeremy and I'm back with another installment of my MLB The Show 20 series where I have my fantasy drafted Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, we had NBA and Madden games come out. But glad to be back here in the dog days of August. Uh, quick refresher of the standings. I'm 10 back in the AL East, third in the division. And we'll check out the wild card. Uh, tied for the second spot. So uh, it's all to play for, really. So we're going to do some simming, play some moments, and uh, have a good time. we got a four-game series hosting Toronto. Snowbirds in town. Here we go. Tyler Naquin has an 11-game hitting streak on the line. Keep it alive. This is what I was made for. I didn't see the, uh, the score. I'm sure we'll see. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're up 3-2. That's good. That's what I like to see. Bottom of the seventh, two outs. Nobody on. So pretty low stakes at bat, except for the hitting streak. Which, of course, we want to keep going. And good evening, Tyler Naquin has to be a, uh, a record setter here. He's over two with a walk. Uh, not really having that good of a season. 670 OPS. Uh, let's see if we can bump that up a couple points. Here against Sean Gilmartin. Oh, and just like that. It's just that easy. Smooth single for Naquin. Twelve game hitting streak. I didn't expect that to go that well, if I'm being perfectly honest. But it was just smooth. Took what the pitcher gave me, boom. Right in there. Okay, now we're on the base path, which I don't really like doing. I'm still don't have the comfort level. That's a walk. We're off to second base. Here's Trevor Story. This is a good little refresher of who's on my team. It's been a couple weeks. They're all stone cold killers. Well, that made my job easy. Big home run for Trevor Story. Three run home run. It's 21st of the season. Great work by Trevor Story. Boom. I mean, that was only ever going one place. That was just over the fence. Oh, now I have to play center field? Never done this in my life. All for Perez pitching. Here against Kevin Kiermeyer. Get going, get going, get going. Oh, nice. Wow, I should just play as Tyler Naquin every game. It's all been going well. Now we're facing Carlos Estevez. Oh, a hittable pitch for sure. Quick, though, 99 miles per hour. Uh, it's 8-2, so not a whole lot of pressure again. That one's low. 7,888 here. Uh, guess I'm not really drawing that well, which is unfortunate. We're in a big playoff race. Ah, uh, chased a pitch out, uh, out of the zone. It went a good distance, though, for how far up it was. Anyway, hit streak's all good. We won the game. It's all gravy. Big win for you to Irvish. Davy Garcia goes to 0 1. Irvish to 10 and 8. Player of the game, Trevor Story. And we saw it. We saw the magic. 2 for 5, home run, 3 RBIs, 2 runs. Okay, let's keep that energy for the rest of the series. Uh, unfortunately, we've picked up a loss here. Lost for Paxton to Bieber. Here we go. That's Naquin's hitting streak again. Do I have to help this guy every game? And it's still at 12, so he must not have played last game. Four complete games this season for Ryu. It's pretty good. Tied for first in the MLB. Eight complete games. Some may say that that's... Uh, could represent a slight issue in pitcher management, but hey, we're only going for the one year here. 
that's in danger of ending if he can't pick up a base hit here. Uh, that's going to hook foul. Four runs, seven hits, one error in the ball game. A bit late on that one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher. That's a check. Oh, come on, that's a check. It's not a check. As much as I want it to be. I had to chase that one, but I've got to protect the plate at this point. Everything's late. i got to pick it up slightly here against Zach Plezak. Again, just protecting the plate. Probably could have laid off that one, though. And there we go. Oh, no, hold on, he got it. Oh, I'm in there. 13-game hitting streak for Tyler Naquin. Great work by me. There's Robinson Cano. Stepping up to bat. Hopefully we get another home run here so I don't have to make any base running decisions. Okay, nothing doing there. That it does automatically, which is nice. Here's Austin Barnes. I'm sure you turn that off if you were more dedicated than I am. Okay, we didn't get doubled up any... Oh, there's only two outs. That's why we didn't get doubled up. Anyway, we extended the hitting streak. That was our goal. And looks like Doolittle picked up the save. Or no, it looks like we have to do something defensively. Oh, are we going to make the play of the game here? Rob Aaron Hicks. Looks like it. All the time in the world. And that's ballgame. 2-1 in the series. One more game to go. Kenta Maeda doing well. Player of the game. And a save for Doolittle, which, you know, has been fraught with peril at times. Him closing games, but seems to be settling down a bit. Maeda looking well pleased with that result. Can't blame him. All right, we got a day game. Kershaw versus Davies. And Trevor May is back. G-Man Choi needs a triple to hit for the cycle. Um, we'll see about that. He's got two home runs, though. Four for four. He's got a single, a double, and two home runs. No outs recorded. I don't really know how we're going to get a triple with G-Man Choi. He is not, if I recall, the fastest runner. Hopefully we'll figure something out. Going up against Sean Gil Martin again. It's 12-3. So uh, it's safe to say we've probably won this series. That not looking like a triple. And it's a grounded to double play. I can help Tyler Naquin, not so much G-Man Choi. You know, he has to kind of do it on his own. All right, 12-3 uh, win. Hitting for the cycle is a bit gaudy anyway. You, know, you don't want to show off. Kershaw moves to 11 and 8. 18 hits. And the eighth inning, the one I hit in, was the only one where he didn't score runs, which is a bit unfortunate. Trevor Story out for a day or two. It's unfortunate. That's a pretty short time for a strained hamstring, though. Must be a pretty uh, mild strain. Okay, let's check those standings again. Hey, we've got a game and a half on the Tigers now in the second spot. Only half a game back of the Red Sox, who are in the first wild card. Let's do a bit more simming. Got another series at home against the Orioles. Ryu versus Barrios. Uh, Owen Miller's out for a long time. Unfortunate. Tyler Naquin's hitting streak. Uh, it's at 14 now, so he at least did get one. I'm feeling good. I've been feeling good hitting as him. Bottom of the seventh, one out, so we could potentially get two shots at this. But hopefully we won't need it. 
and it's a tie ball game, so this actually matters. Let's make some magic happen. No, nothing doing. I wasn't even in the right postcode. A couple of slurves missing there. Three and zero. A walk really doesn't do me any good. He needs to throw me a pitch here. I will still take the walk though. So that that was in the zone, but probably one I could have left. This could go extra innings. Uh oh, there was an error. They're lucky I don't know who committed the error. Uh oh, uh oh. It's, this is looking like a loss. It's now 4 2 Orioles. And I've got to do some defense. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with I've been getting some good reps in his center field. The big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. This is it high in the oh, got to get going, got to get going. Naquin's on the move. He gets there to make the catch. All right, didn't have much. Oh, I have to throw. Well, he would have gotten it anyway. Can't blame myself too much, though. It wasn't really an ideal play. Okay, we need three runs here. Let's go get it. Oh, the hitting streak is over for Tyler Naquin. And we lost. Double whammy. One more whammy, and we've lost at Press My Luck. Or is it Press Your Luck? I think it's Press Your Luck. Game show with uh, with whammies. Whammies were no good. If you got a whammy, that was bad news. You lost everything. But you get to watch a fun cartoon. Or they blow up or something. Okay, Darvish versus Wood. Trevor Story's back, which is nice. Tied game, batting at home, walk it off, slugger. Okay. Sort of oddly uh, casual message there for video game to be talking to me like that. But we got to do our best here. We got Yasmani Grandal. One out, two on. Bottom of the ninth. He's already got a home run. Should be a piece of cake here against uh, Luis Avilan. Oh, those ones uh, right at the bottom of the zone are troubling me today. Launch angle of a negative 142 degrees. You're not going to get much with that sort of launch angle. Oh, yes. There we go. Is that deep enough to score? We got some slow guys on the bases, so not quite. 17-9-3. and three. If you combine those three players, they're still slow. Billy Hamilton. It's a big spot. He's over for 4th strikeout. Batting 198. OPS 520. Pretty grim. Pretty grim numbers. But all he really needs to do is not hit into a double play. Or strikeout. Or pop it. Too late. That's on me. He's got the same vision rating as Tyler Naquin. It's just the contact and power that are issues. Is that a check? Yes. Bit of a heavy, uh, awkward looking check, but a check nonetheless. Come on, Avilan. Give me something hittable. Like that. Okay, at the very least, Hamilton is fast. But they get the force at home, which is too bad. Anyway, now we got to make a hit. We got Glacius, which isn't really who I wanted. This Hamilton and Glacius at the top of my lineup, I'm not really loving, to be honest. But let's see if Glacius can prove me wrong. Too early on that one. If only Hamilton could steal through Cano and Grandal. Oh, 
It's got some promise to it. No, straight to the center field. Dang. Extra innings. We're going to see some baseball here. I have to pitch. That's no good. And I have nobody warming the bullpen. Who's managing this team? Uh, let's get Trevor May up. I'm Pedro Baez here. I have such low energy. All right, let's go with the change. A bit low. Honestly, I'll take that. There's the fastball. There we go. It's working below. Facing Tatis here. Nothing but low stuff. Might be time to throw a high fastball. And there we go. Get a nice, easy fly ball. Boom. Okay, let's throw a slider here to Jason Hayward. Ooh, right on the corner. I'm feeling pretty good about Baez so far. Even though his energy is really low. Maybe he can get through the inning. Bit of a waste pitch there. I think he might be gone after this batter, actually. I'm having a change of heart. Oh, just can't get to it. Yep, time for... Uh, who did I warm up? Trevor May? Yep. Trevor May, come on down. Impress your luck. What do I have warm-up pitches on? Anyway, he's warm enough. Don't want to overheat. Just misses with a 97 mile per hour heater. That's one and one. Let's throw a 12 6 curve. Oh, didn't like the placement of that. Not a fan of that at all. There's a nice pop up. And that's the second out. One more. And then, uh, then I can get back to winning the game. Here's Brian Reynolds. He's 0 for 1. Slider right down the middle. He didn't want any part of it. Fastball right down the middle. He wanted a part of it, but he couldn't get it. And there's the change up in the zone. Sit him down on three pitches. Comes uh, Ryan Brazier. Here to face Charlie Blackman. Honestly, just a home run would make this a lot easier. It's got a bit to it. Oh, so close. And I wasn't paying attention. Still got into second. Barely. Uh, good double. Wall ball double from Charlie Black. Probably could have been a triple if I had been paying a bit more attention. Anyway, here's Trevor Story. Bit early on the changeup. I guess I could bunt. But uh, that'll do just about the same job. Okay, all we need is something in the outfield. And that'll be the game. All right, it's David Peralta. One for three in this game, hitting 292 overall. Ooh. That, it looked like it was going to miss by more than that. But anyway, I'll take the I'll take the call. One and zero. Bingo. Walk off single for Peralta. All right, took a one inning more than I would have wanted, but we pick up the W. Just the player of the game. Yes, yeah, Monty Grandal. I'm sure he did good stuff. And Trevor May picks up the win. Okay, I think maybe we'll finish out this series and call it an episode. Got some good baseball in there. Uh, getting my eye back in. Actually, I think I played decent today. Couldn't get Choi his uh, triple. 
and uh, Naquin's streak ended at 14 games, but that's a good streak. Okay, we got Paxton versus Young. Oh, we, well, we can't end on a loss. That's no good. Let's just do the Yankees series. We're going to Manhattan. No, that's another loss. Okay, one more. This is how you lose all your money gambling. Clayton Kershaw has a shutout going late in the game. Finish it off. That sounds fun. Let's shut out the Yankees. 10 nothing. I like the sound of this. They have gotten seven hits, though. Only the one walk. Jordan Lepp low up to bat. This would be a big result. This would get on Sports Center. You know, not always the easiest thing for the race, but even though they are a good team, traditionally. Hopefully I can make the playoffs, carry in their proud tradition. Easy play. No problem. It's one out. Seven hit shutout. You don't see too many of those. Here's Yang Gomes. I'm going to throw a curve. It's a bit too low. I hope that Tulowitzki's having a happy retirement. Speaking of too low. What a good player. I always picked him. Uh oh. That's got a little danger to it. But not enough to be dangerous. It's two outs. 119 pitches for Kershaw. We better hurry this up. Here's Nick Ahmed. One for three. Three for six in the series. Change. That's a generous call. But you got to give that to a veteran pitcher who's on a shutout. And let's call that a day. Shutout for Clayton Kershaw on the Yankees. You got to love it. Ten strikeouts. A loss for Daniel Ponce de Leon. Had a pretty bad outing. All right, one more game and then we'll call it. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Dietrich Gamecast. You can see more MLB, Madden, and NBA. Okay, day game. What do we got? Ryu versus Sixto Sanchez. There you go. That's how you end it. A win. And a win for John Brebbia. All right, thank you so much. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.